I'm going to show you how to add a website chat window to your website using ManyChat. This is a feature that Facebook has released and allows you to put a little pop-up chat window on your website. You may have seen this from tools like Drift, Intercom. There's lots of tools that use this already, but now we can integrate this with Facebook Messenger. And so when people start to chat with you on your website, you will get a new subscriber and it also gives you all the same options and features that ManyChat already has so you can segment them and do all sorts of neat things with it. In order to do this, you're going to log into your ManyChat account and click Growth Tools. Then you're going to click New Growth Tool and you're going to use the Customer Chat feature right here. When you click on this, you're going to see um, something that you're used to seeing already if you've set up any growth tools in ManyChat. And you can just click the name and type a new name for this. Um, and then you're going to use an opt-in message. And so this is the very first thing that someone is going to see after they click the Let's Chat button. Um, and I'll show you what that is going to look like in a minute but you're going to go and click edit. I'm gonna save the changes first. I changed the name up here, so it asked me to save the changes. I'm going to go click edit, and we're gonna say, um, we're just gonna welcome the person. It's always a good idea to put first name and then include a fallback. Uh, just in case for some reason their name doesn't get passed through because you would hate for that to say welcome blank. Um, so we'll say welcome. Let me grab someone for you to chat with. What's your question? Um, this is a very quick and dirty look here. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, spruce it up with a with a uh, emoji. You know, you should definitely think through this sequence and what it is that you want people to experience. I'm just gonna show you how to do this real quick. Um, but think through what you want that experience to be like. Do you want to capture any information from them before you start chatting with them? If so, you could use the user input. Um, there's all sorts of other things you could do with this sequence, but basically you just set it up here like you do with any other opt-in tool. And then once you're all done, you can click publish. And now um, what happens is we need to go back a step here um, to this very first screen. And, and I skipped over this at first, um, you want to click on the setup tab here. Now, if you have already installed the JavaScript snippet from ManyChat on your website when you were first setting it up, you should be fine. This should work no problem and you don't need to do anything else. If you have not already installed this JavaScript snippet, you're going to click on it and then you're going to authorize websites you want this to work on. And um, and so you're going to add the name of the website that you want this snippet to appear on. You'll just add that here. And then you're going to click to install the mini chat snippet. And you'll just copy this little section of code right here. This needs to be placed in the head of every page on your website. If you're using WordPress, that's usually pretty easy to do. It depends a little bit on the theme that you're using, but if you are using WordPress and you have a compatible theme that allows you to do this, you'll just log in to your WordPress backend. And then a lot of times if your theme supports this, what you can do is just go under appearance, customize. And there is a lot of times a section in the customized section where you can insert code in the header or the footer of your website. And you'll need to find where that place is. And for my theme, it's right here. You see the head section and you can see that I've already installed it right here, the many you just paste the little JavaScript in there that you got. Now, if that is not an option in your theme, you will need to um, get 
a little plugin to be able to add that. So under plugins, you're just going to go add new. And you'll just type header code. We can just search for plugins that allow you to edit the, um, the header and footer. And so this one that comes up right here, insert headers and footers, that is an okay um, plugin to install. You'll just click to install it. And then once it's there, you should be able to go and do the same thing and copy that code into the header of your website. Now back on ManyChat, um, this note that they say here, it needs to go on the head of every page of your website. So make sure you set that as an option in the plugin that you're using or in the theme that you're using. Then we can click finish. And once that's set up, now this will appear on every page of your website. If you click on this, how to use visibility settings, it kind of tells you uh, how this works. You can have it only show on specific pages. You can also hide it on specific pages. Now, but by default, your widgets are shown on all pages of all websites where your snippet is installed. So make sure that you are um, aware of that and then you can hide it on specific URLs or show it on specific URLs. Then you can also select whether or not you want it to appear on mobile and desktop, desktop only or just mobile. So once you have that all set up, then you'll go over here and click from draft to active. Once you make it active, it will appear on your site. And because I've already played around with this on my website, I'm going to open an incognito window and that will forget that I was there. Once you're there, you won't get the same welcome screen anymore. So if you need to test it multiple times, you can use the incognito window. So when you go to your website, if everything is set up correctly, what you'll see over in the corner is this little messenger pop-up tab and your icon, your avatar right there. And then it'll say, hey, we're here to answer any questions you may have. Now, as of right now, this is the default text that goes on there. We can't edit that text. You'll just have to leave it at that for now. Uh, and then you can click the chat window and it's going to ask you to log in to Facebook if you are in the incognito window. Once you are logged into Facebook, now you will get the welcome sequence that you have configured. All right, so here it is. And now you can start typing and interacting and use ManyChat just like you have any other tools. And so I hope you enjoy this new feature and play around with it and really start to have some very personal conversations with people on your website.